Now don't forget, Stinky, I hope you've packed everything. Oh, hello my little poppets. Oh, my little poppets, we are so excited here today because Stinky is going on a trip. He's going on holiday. How exciting, Stinky. Are you excited, dear? Yes, I know that you are. Well, my little poppet, Stinky is going to stay with his aunt. He's going to be staying with his aunt, I should say. And he's going to Switzerland. How marvellous. And then I think you're going to be going to France, aren't you, Stinky? Yes, well, they are the homes of cheese. And Stinky loves cheese, as you know. And he does eat quite a lot. You're not going to be able to sleep tonight. No, well, I suppose you'll be so excited, won't you? Perhaps some warm milk, I think, might help to put you off to sleep. We've got all your packing to do, and we've got story time as well. But, my little poppers, before we get on with the story, I thought we'd better check Stinky's suitcase. Now, I'll move that lovely pot of tea out of the way there. Oh, look at this suitcase. Now, Stinky, let's show the little poppets, dear, at home. Now, I'll just help you there. Can you see that, my little poppets? All the wonderful places that Stinky has been. Now, let me see, what's he got? I'll put it up the right way. Thank you, Stinky, dear. Well, there's the USA on the front, the United States of America. There's Ireland and there's London. Oh, well, he's even been to Las Vegas, which is in America. Well, Stinky, dear, Let's have a look and see what you've got in there. Do you want some help with the buckle? You do want some help? Yes, well, have a look. It's a little bit tricky. I don't know how you're going to manage without me, dear. All right, pop it open. Oh, stinky! My little poppets. Look what he's packed in the suitcase. Cheese. I don't think that's going to last in there. It might make things a bit pongy. Now, let's have a look, dear. We might pop the cheese. Now, I know you want... No, you're not... Just wait a moment. I'll take that. It's not the time to be eating cheese. Now, he's got some clothing in there. He's got some vests. Yes, that's your favourite. Oh, and look! Teddy! His little Teddy. You love Teddy, don't you? Yes, you can't go anywhere without Teddy. I know, you love him so very much. Oh, yes, you do. I hope you love me more, do you? Oh, that's good. And what else have you got there? Oh, look! There's a picture of myself there. Turn it around so you can see and there's Bo there and there's also Mr Pocket, our favourite friends. Oh yes, well if you get a bit homesick, Stinky, that ought to do the trick. You can just have a look there and you might feel better then, mind you. Yes, well I suppose we should get on with the story. Now I'll pop Stinky here for just a moment. He can sit up there under the lovely shady tree there. It's quite hot today, my little poppets. Now, the story that I'm going to read to you today, I'm afraid it's not about France, but it's about a snail and a whale. And they do go on a trip, I believe. The snail and the whale. And there it is. Well, this is a new one. I haven't read this one. I like the look of it, I have to say. Well, here we go, my little poppets. This is a tale of a tiny snail and great big grey blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. He has an itchy foot. Oh, I think I've heard that expression before. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. She longs to have a sail. Well, I suppose a change of scenery is nice, isn't it? Something a little bit different. Well, these are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, be quiet, don't wriggle, sit still, stay put. By the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a slivery trail that looped and curled and said, lift wanted around the world. Well, the snail, my little hobbits, wants to go on holiday. She wants to see something different. Well, I can understand that. 
and it says Liv wanted around the world. Oh, I wonder how she's going to manage the trip. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale immensely long who sang to the snail a wonderful song. Oh, he's a musical whale, fancy that. Oh, I've lost my place. I do tend to do that, I get sidetracked. Oh, of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. And there he is, what a wonderful beast he is. Look how long he is, marvellous. I went to the museum once and I saw a rather large whale in there. I do believe he was having a cup of tea. I think we should meet up with him again soon, Stinky. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. And I can see lots of penguins there and look at all the ice, my little poppets. It looks very cold there. I think you need to wear a warm woolly scarf and hat. Oof, I'm feeling a bit chilly just looking at that. With fiery mountains and golden sands. And now they're there, it looks like an island there. It looks a bit warmer there, doesn't it? Oh, it looks lovely. Palm trees and there's a turtle on the sand. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail on his tail. And there we are, the snail there on the tip of the tail. Look at that. I suppose it's a good place for a snail. Right on the very tip. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. Oh, thunderstorms, stinky. Lightning and thunder, clouds crackling. Oh, that sounds exciting. With zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Good Lord, how on earth does he hold on during that storm? He must be holding on very tightly, I think. Oh, he's having quite the adventure. And she gazed at the sky, the sea and the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all, and she said to the whale, I feel so small. Well, I suppose she would. There's a bear there, lots happening there. This is a wonderful book, I have to say. Oh, I do love storybooks. They're the best ever, simply marvellous. But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speedbirds running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. This is the tide slipping away. Oh no, well that's not very good. That's not the place for a whale stuck on the sand. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. Oh, poor fellow. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick off the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. And there he is, poor fellow, stuck there on the sand. Dear, dear me. Oh, poor, poor fellow. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as soot, and this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. Oh yes, please do. 
save the whale. Oh, yes, they must try at least. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. Well, look, everyone has come to help. They're spraying the whale to keep him nice and cool. I hope he feels better. And hopefully, he'll get off that sand. This is the tide coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting, hooray, hooray, as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Oh, thank goodness, he's off the sand. And there he is, back in the water, much better. Oh, I bet he's relieved. I'll tell you what, I'm relieved. I was a bit worried there for a moment. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock, who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. Oh, now they all want to go on holiday, all having a ride there on the whale's tail. Fancy that. Well, that was unexpected. I wasn't expecting that. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. And there's the sun setting there, and he looks very happy. But to me, I think he's had enough adventure for one day. Ah, oh, look at that. Well, the end. What a brilliant book. The snail and the whale. Simply marvelous. Well, I don't know if a Stinky will be having a ride on a whale anytime soon, but I know he is very excited about his holiday. And I tell you what, my little hobbits, I'm going to miss him dreadfully. It won't be the same. Oh, Stinky, my friend, did you enjoy that story, dear? You did. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. You know what? I'm going to miss you terribly. I do love you so. Did you know that? What's that? You love me too. Oh, well, you're my best friend. But you know what? I think you deserve a holiday and I think you're going to have a marvellous time. And you know what, Stinky? Think of all the adventures you're going to have and we'll be able to share it with the little poppets when you come back, won't we? Well, my little poppets, boys and girls, I'm afraid story time has come to an end. And until next time, 